Valley veteran is uplifting Arizona more than 40 years after his life was forever changed in a helicopter crash. Yeah, today he's an amputee who is excelling in sports and inspiring others. ABC 15's Fenton Blandin caught up with him at a pickleball tournament helping raise money for children whose parents have cancer. Around this time in 1981, Michael Smith was just 20 years old. He was a petty officer third class in the Navy, working with a CH-46 aircraft similar to this one shown aboard the USS Bellawood in the Sea of Japan. It was taking off, made a sound, and blew up. He and 14 sailors were on the flight deck. Three were inside the helicopter. All were gearing up for a mission in the Western Pacific. We were doing our normal flight quarters and we were just ending. And the night before, they were working on the helicopter engine because it was malfunctioning. Smith says his leaders told the crew aboard the ship to do one more check. He recalls the crew following the order and wrapping up but someone suggested the team does another. And as it was taking off, there was a sound that it make, and when you work on a flight deck, you know certain sounds. The young sailor remembers running and not making it far. He was hit and says he didn't know right away. One sailor in the chopper died. And I went to run to help, and when I went to push off, I fell back on my face, and I rolled over and I had one foot up, and one foot was off. I didn't see it. Once Michael Smith realized he was hurt, he says he immediately started to think about one thing, and it wasn't his fairly new military career. For a while, I kept saying, why did this happen? Because I was, we were, I was playing on the ship's football team and volleyball team. Fast forward 42 years, Smith, who lives with a prosthetic leg, played in the inaugural pickleball tournament for the Children's Treehouse Foundation. Like most nonprofits, we're out there looking for money all the time. And, you know, a part of our money comes from partnerships with hospitals, cancer centers, but the rest of it comes from fundraising. The way my coach taught me was once we walk between the lines, everything shuts off. And that's home for me. That's why I play so many sports at my age. Smith didn't win the tournament, but with his passion for sports and desire to help people with cancer, he did inspire. It's just, yeah, it's really powerful. To, it's a really powerful thing to, to see those worlds come together. In Phoenix, Vincent Bland in ABC 15, Arizona.